One important thing to realize about our ANOVA testing is that our requirements and kind of our assumptions are different than some of the other tests that we have done. So when we think back to when we were doing like our two sample uh, hypothesis testing for means, uh, you know, we were often interested in like either the original distribution or if we didn't have a good original distribution like it wasn't normal, uh, we could always fall back upon the central limit theorem. So with the NOVA testing, <clears throat> there is no central limit theorem. So it's not that there's like a minimum sample size that can just make it so that you can automatically do your ANOVA testing. So all, all groups must be approximately normal. So if we want to run this, uh, this test, we have to make sure that all of all the groups that, that we're testing, so whether it's three, whether it's 10, all of them have to be independently, approximately normally distributed. And we'll go through how we can actually do those checks. Like one thing that we could look at is we can go through and look at just graphically at the histograms of the individual groups, make sure that they roughly follow a, um, a normal distribution. Uh, there are some other more advanced techniques that our software can, can do as well, uh, but we have to have them basically be normally distributed. The other thing that we've got to have is the standard deviations must be close enough to be considered equal. All right, and again, what we're going to do is we're going to do our standard deviation that is the biggest. And we'll divide by the standard deviation that is the smallest. And if this is less than or equal to two, we can consider our standard deviations that they're close enough that we can actually use them. Uh, so this is basically our requirements for our ANOVA distribution. Uh, you know, when we're doing our sampling, we still want to make sure that when we take the samples of our different groups, that they're representative, that they're random. Um, but these are the requirements that, that, that we have. There's not a central limit theorem that we can fall back on. Uh, so these groups have to be approximately normally distributed, and standard deviations have to be close enough to be considered equal. But if we can, if we can uh, meet these requirements, then what we can do is we can uh, we can run this test and have multiple groups and multiple means compared to one another at the same time.